Hey guys, part one video here of a two part series. This is going to be me building a grid status indicator. When the grid's gonna be live, this guy's gonna be beeping and flashing. Because when you're running off grid, when there's a power cut, you could be twiddling your thumbs, watching the television, and your neighbors have had power for the last six hours. This will prevent that. Let's plug it in and show what it's like. So this guy can be bought off eBay. Links can be found in the description. So take a gander. Clearly though, you don't want this flashing and buzzing away 24 hours a day. But what I've got here is a fused switch. And this is going to be connected to the grid. And then in the event of a power cut, I'm going to switch it on funnily enough and when the grid becomes live again this will power this and then I know now to switch back from secondary auxiliary supply back to the mains grid and this will prevent any extra loss of any saved up power you've got in your battery banks. But Derek I hear you cry how are you going to fix this to this? Well Here's what I prepared earlier. This is gonna go in there. So here we go, the exciting part. Let's undo this nut at the bottom and let's thread this through. And that is basically what it looks like. So wiring half done now, I'm just going to wire it into the back of this switch right here. So the live or the hot is going to go to this terminal here, the neutral or the ground is going to go to this one here. So let's get to it. Just leave plenty of thread, plenty of thread, plenty of wiring from the back of the actual status light so you can take this front cover off without being hindered. There we go, nice and tight. So eventually this is gonna go like that. Well, since this is part one, I'm only gonna wire it into the grid next week for part two but there's no harm in testing it so the live will go here the neutral will go here so let's get that wired up now two So all back together now, let's plug it in, switch it on, fab, not bad at all. So once again, thanks for watching, give the video a like, don't forget to check those links in the description and tune in next week for the second part. Cheers!